Boom. Hello, replay viewers. I haven't been on for a while, I know. <laughs> With this virus going on, there wasn't much to show you. But I'm I'm underway. Well, I was underway. I've gotten to some place in Maine. And it's real pretty here. I've been hanging out for a little while. Letting some letting some bad weather come through and it's it's getting nice. It's gonna be nice, very nice tomorrow. So I'll go off and uh, and sail off to another harbor. Hey Mindy, uh, pretty early for you Mindy, good morning. So where I'm at is a, a town dock. You can land your boat here, <clears throat> speaking of landing boats. Yeah, I've, I've been away for quite a long time. I just didn't have any, any inspiration to do, to do videos in the spring. There wasn't much to show you except the boatyard. But uh, oddly enough, I'm, I'm at a scenic place and I have a signal. So I can do a little video. So there's my boat. A bunch of guys, I just talked to this guy down here who lives nearby. They've come down to obviously do a little fishing. There's a, uh, around the corner. This is an interesting spot actually. Around the corner, you can see it's uh, it's about just, just not quite half tide coming up. Over in the distance there's a little shack and that's the, uh, the kayak rental place. I think they have a guided guided excursions tour too. Uh, yeah, I've been I've enjoyed my boat. It's uh, a lot nicer inside and, and a lot stronger when it's time to go. So here's the, uh, the somewhat overpriced uh, lobster restaurant, seafood restaurant. It'll slowly pan back. <laughs> so the uh, I've been hanging out in this inner harbor. The uh, the passage at low tide is is very narrow and very shallow. Um, I used to run it in my other boat, and I hit hit the rocks twice. Nothing nothing bad. It's more of a bump than a than a stop. And uh, after the second time, I said I better better not do this anymore at low tide. So so if this better this nicer boat now I don't go through that that shallow place anywhere near low tide. Um, the draft on this boat is about the same as my other one. But uh, I don't want to don't want to wreck this one. Uh, so that's the inner harbor, which is pretty sheltered. This outer harbor, and I'll pan left in a minute. This outer harbor is 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 adequate on a nice day. Uh, let's see. Yeah, everybody's pointing the same direction right now. There's a uh, a funny swirling current that happens in here at certain times of of the tide coming and going, and and boats can point one way. And then 100 feet away, they'll be pointing the other way. Oh, there's, there's one in the far distance. There's a little, little, uh, little sailboat up against the shore pointing the other way. Because um, what, what you have happening here is this little gap. Is the, the tide here is about 8 or 10 feet. And all the water is pouring in through the gap. And so it sort of generates some, some funny eddies. Mindy, am I still getting out? I'm not seeing any comments. People are being shy. So I don't think I'm going to scope for too long. I don't. I don't have the uh, the audience that I that I used to. But thank you. But at least I have I have a few people watching. Four, and and two two people are, are people I I know. So at least you're you're writing a little bit. Um, so I, I think I'll end this in a moment. There isn't really you've seen you've seen the scenery. Um, I will get more. Yes. Well. The trouble with scoping in Maine is is the signal is often too weak. I'm uh, I'm too far away from the cell tower, and this this spot used to be horrible for a signal. And I think I can actually see the tower over the crest of a hill. They put in a, another one. I don't know anything about fishing, but that's what these guys are talking about. Well, I'm sorry, we play viewers, as is often the case. The uh, as is not for the case, the uh, the periscope crashed on me, locked up. Uh, let me think, have I rebooted this phone? I haven't restarted this phone in the very near past, so I don't know, it, it just this periscope has, has troubles, at least with me. Um, so if you're going to cast your, your fishing lure this way, you have this little challenge of what happens when you get to the dinghies. When do I head to Florida? I head to Florida in September. Uh, the trouble is, the trouble is when I get to Florida, well, well the first trouble is, is getting enough food. 
So I had a bit of a challenge this spring getting enough food and and, and did, did okay. I, I didn't get exactly what I want. Um, I got some of what I want and, and too much of the same thing because some of what I wanted isn't in production. So I had to, uh, I've been, and I've been trying, ex experimenting with other, other things that I can keep without a refrigerator, but, but so far, no luck. There's, there's certain, certain like brown rice it was to cook for 25 minutes. That's an awfully expensive, uh, pot of brown rice. I only have so much propane. And I don't want to, uh, use up my supplies. Uh, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. And then, of course, I'll get to Florida. I need a place to stay. Um, I hope the place I was at would take me. Um, that's not near a grocery store, and I used to borrow somebody's car to go to the grocery store, and I probably won't be doing that. And I'll get to the grocery store, and, and they, won't have, they won't have much. So I'm going to try to stock up as best I can. I went into, uh, there's a market just behind me, a few miles behind me, and I tried to do a special order, and he said, come in the back, you can see what I, what I have on the screen, and, and almost everything I was, of the five things I wanted, they only had one. So I got a lot of canned chicken, just to stock up in advance. Um, yeah, so getting, getting food's a bit of a challenge. I'm really getting tired of eating noodles. There's not much activity in here. I have some friends, they, they sometimes keep their boat here. So I sent them a picture of this uh, down there, the inner harbor. And the answer, the message I got back <clears throat> was, where are all the boats? So then I did a count. Hello, Divine. Nice to see you pop in. So I did a count of all the boats that are down there and a count of the empty moorings. <clears throat> and, and this harbor is more than half empty. There's... Uh, a lot of summer houses here, and either the people haven't <clears throat> haven't come up at all for the summer, or they've come up for a short time. And uh, uh, Mindy, I don't know about Amazon dry foods, so uh, a lot of the summer people aren't here, or if they're here, they're here for a short time and not putting their boat in. That's pretty funny. Well, Welch isn't a common name, but it's not. Not exactly rare either. I think these people might be <clears throat> might be fishing for stripers, but I haven't seen anybody catch anything yet. Um, I don't know when the best time to fish is. But I would think when the tide's coming in, which is it's what it's doing now. Low tide was was 7:30. And uh, so 7:30 plus six and a half. About two o'clock's high tide. You can see how the uh, the land is a bit exposed still. This restaurant back here opens at 11:30, so I've already bicycled into the the market and gotten some some graham crackers and a few other snacks. So I don't want to go bicycling past people at tables and make them nervous or have them make me nervous. So better to run that errand. Yep. There's, there's a colony of terns around here, and you just heard one. And they certainly have a piercing, piercing cry. Um, so if you just joined, over in the corner here is a little shack for the kayak rental. So sometimes I'll, I'll see a flotilla of them going by. They might have a, uh, have a guide. And I really haven't talked about over this way, because it's into the sun. But behind that restaurant, there's an open space. And this was one of the uh, original, very early settlements in the 1600s that didn't, didn't do too well. It was, uh, I think the French came along and, and wiped them out. But there's uh, an open space and they've done uh, some excavations. So there's this little museum. You're seeing the back of the museum behind the restaurant. And off in the distance, you can't really see it through the trees, is a, a, a fort that's been, uh, we recreated from a much older one from hundreds of years ago. So, what a new thing they have is is uh, as you pass pass by on the road, they have a little original re replication of a, of a house and people dressed up in 1600s clothing who are, are using old tools to to build 
like things to dry your fish on, racks, drying racks for fish. So I talked to those guys a few times and uh, showed a lot more interest than I think a lot of people do that, that walk by. So over in the distance, over yonder there on the other side, is a lobster co-op. So if you, if you have a lobster boat, you get your lobsters and you bring them into the co-op and that's where you sell them. And eventually they get trucked off to restaurants, but this is a, a poor year for lobstering. The lobsters are there probably, but the, the customers aren't. So this is a pretty spot. You can see there's uh, some pretty spiffy houses here up in the hills. Lots of money here. Um, but you go inland a little bit and you can find some affordable properties, especially empty lots. So, Mindy, are you still here? Yeah, it's. I can see your, your little squiggle, <clears throat> your little icon. Yeah, it, this is a pretty, This you know, I've come to realize this whole whole section of the country is very, very scenic. So, this is what I get to see. If, if I'm not in the fog, this is what I get to see. Um, the weather this year has been, been very strange. Oh, that guy almost missed, almost caught my boat, but he didn't. There's been lots of fog, lots of rain. Um, today there's storms coming in the afternoon. And I'm not in any rush. I don't have any place to go this year. So so I've just been going to a spot and, and hanging out for a while, reading books. Oh, good. Divine, when was the last time you were up there? Um, I saw a picture of Bar Harbor a month or so ago. And I think it was like 10% um, occupied. The, the uh, hotels were just opening, but the streets were empty of cars. Is it enjoyable being here? Yes, being here is is enjoyable. I am, you know, I I, I realize that the circumstances are what they are. I wish I could I could go along, and uh, and see my friends up in Canada but the border is going to be closed for quite a long time I think um, one of my friends she she had an operation so she's she's not able to use her boat uh, her husband went off with one of the kids on the uh, on their annual club cruise so I did take a uh, an inside trip I, I did something I've only done once before in my life and I did it in the reverse direction <clears throat> he went in and came in from the ocean went upstream past the the town of Bath, which has a, uh, a place that builds naval warships, tied up there for about five hours, and, and then left five years ago. Okay, I hope you saw something interesting. So I left Bath. Bath has extreme, extreme currents. And I left an hour before low tide, and I went through a narrow spot. I went from six knots to nine, so that's a 50% increase, almost at low tide. I, I went through there one other time, and I have vague memories of, of, of too much excitement. I don't think I'd recommend it to, to anyone that's nervous. It's very narrow, and there's, there's cliffs on both sides, and, and all kinds of ways to, to go wrong. So anyway, I went up to Bath, did my laundry, talked to a homeless person for 30 minutes while the machine was running, went and got a bad, a bad lunch, and, uh, and left for another spot. It's kind of rough, it's kind of rough there. Um, the uh, there's a, a lift bridge for trains now, and it also used to be Route One. So <clears throat> in the old days, the bridge would only open twice a day until until it was night nighttime. Uh, but now the uh, the Route One bridge has been replaced, so the train bridge opens on request. And here's this guy. He's got he's hooked onto something. Got a, his 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 line has like multiple fish hooks, like, like four fish hooks. So he's gotten two little fish. I don't know. Can can you see that? One fell off. It's gonna jump back in if he's not careful. Give me give me one. And uh, behind me, it's time for a food delivery. Guy's pretty good at backing up. It's uh, Thursday, so they're probably getting an order in for the next couple days. So anyway, 
There you are, there's your viewer main. I don't have too many people, so I'm gonna scope out. I'm glad you could uh, join me in part one and two. It takes me about, uh, I don't know, spot to spot, about 10 minutes to go back to the mooring ball, but some of that is, is casting off and, and picking up the ball, so I don't have very far to go. My, uh, my round trip distance today will be 0.7 miles. I, uh, I did that once before. I've made that come in and gone out once or twice before already. And uh, it's a nice spot. And I hope to see my friends at some point next month. Uh, the ones that keep a mooring here, but but their boat's not in yet. Yeah, yeah. See you later, Mindy. Um, I might be able to scope a little, maybe a little tomorrow. We'll have to see what what the signal's like. I'm not sure where I'm uh, where I'm going. If it has much of a connection. So everybody, take care, and we'll see you who knows when soon. I hope.